Hey guys, okay, so in this video, I wanna talk about how complicated and how much control the ego has over us. So as we know, and I'm gonna talk about my realization of my core belief that my subconscious mind has been holding on to, and I just realized it like this morning in when I was doing my channeling after my meditations, I realized that my biggest challenge in my whole entire life has been that I didn't feel as though I deserved happiness. So let's start really quick with, um, with the ego. So our experiences and our thoughts Oh, sorry, so our thoughts are based on our experiences. And because when we're young, I mean, our parents actually have a lot of influence on who we become because when you're a baby or when you're a toddler growing up, when you're a child, you need to be parented. So you're going to listen to whatever it is that your parent is saying or doing. These create your experiences and these create, sorry, these experiences create your thoughts. Now the universe is open, is open. It's very neutral. So the universe is going to give you back whatever your subconscious mind is storing. And you might not even be conscious of what your subconscious mind is holding on to. So, I'll give you an example. Years ago, I came to, a few years ago, I came to realize that my core belief in my subconscious mind that was holding me down and I had to get rid of, and I only came to even know this core belief after I started killing the ego. And what I realized back then was that my suffering had everything to do with loneliness. I had many experiences from childhood right on even into my marriage um, and then after when my husband passed away and then being a parent, being a forced single parent, I suffered through loneliness all of my life and I just kept creating more and more situations and scenarios that created loneliness. So all this time, I thought I was getting over, over, I mean, the loneliness, like I thought that my core belief, my consciousness had to come to that subconscious dark loneliness that was inside of me. So through the years, as I've been killing that loneliness off, and now I no longer feel lonely because I know I have a team behind me. I have angels, I have the divine, I have guardians, I have it all. So I'm not feeling lonely anymore. And as soon as I stopped feeling lonely, which was about a year ago, I still, I put into my conscious mind that, okay, now we're gonna look for freedom and we're gonna look for stability. This year, we are going to gain freedom and stability in love and in abundance financially. That is what we're gonna do here in 2020. And it wasn't, until this morning because every day I ask dear like higher self take me to my abundance and my stability and my freedom and my love get me ready I am open and I am here for it in the highest good and easiest path I want easy now so I've been going through these like barriers breaking them down break not allowing the ego catching the ego every time and this morning I came to this like, and to me, these things are so profound. I'm just so shocked at these realizations. They're like, they're like aha moments, but shocking epiphanies at the same time. And this morning I realized that the core belief that was even stronger than the loneliness that was held in my subconscious mind was that I didn't believe that I, deserve to be happy. This is why I haven't achieved the amount of freedom and stability in love and 
abundance and finances that I've wanted because I deep down in the core of my subconscious have held this feeling that I am not worthy of it. So I started doing some regressional therapy. And remember, I have been doing this work for 15 years. So now I can do it very quickly. And as I began to do some regressions, yeah, the old patterns of where the loneliness came from, like I think I was probably three years old when that started, but the unhappiness started even before that. And the reason I can say that to you is because I block things out. I have done that since child, I don't remember my childhood. I remember very vague, like little bits and pieces of my childhood, but I blocked all of it out. And today I realized I blocked it out because I was unhappy. And then I just got more unhappy and it, it became a solid, belief in my subconscious without me even knowing it and we seek happiness and now and this morning because I do a lot of writing so I did a lot of articulation a lot of writing this morning and I saw where that unhappy the belief came from both my mom my dad I lived in Prince George for a little while and then when I went to school, we moved around a lot, so I didn't have a lot of like friends in elementary school, teachers, and then I met Sarb, my husband. Like, I see the pattern and I see where this unhappy came from. So, now that I know this, what's next? You guys. Follow my journey of how I am going to let this unhappy subconscious go. I don't even know yet. I'm just in such shock because I've I've been feeling like not as lonely lately, but I didn't realize it was the unhappy. So anyways, so for the next like, few weeks as long as it takes I am going to start ridding getting rid of this unhappiness and the way I'm going to do it is because I know I deserve happiness so I am going to my mantra is going to be I deserve happiness I deserve happiness and this is going to be my mantra with me I change my energy usually and I've changed my thoughts throughout the years by mantras. I always start off with a mantra. So that's what I'm going to do with this. I am going to start today. I've already started. I just drove um, for a bit in the car and I just said the same mantra. I deserve happiness. I will also make myself a, um, when I go to bed, um, I usually make myself a meditation. I record my voice and some meditation music for whatever binaural beats I want and I record my own voice and I and I am going to record that tonight and I'm going it's going to be I deserve happiness I deserve happiness if any of you want the binaural beats comment below because I'm willing to share them I'm just so in shock but happy See there, I deserve happiness I'm happy I'm happy to know that my future is going to be abundant of freedom, abundant of stability, abundant of love, abundant of finances because I deserve it. I deserve the security. I deserve happiness. I deserve to no longer suffer and be unhappy. That is enlightenment. Today, I feel very like, oh my God, and just kind of confused, but happy. See, happy because today was a day of enlightenment. Today, this is what enlightenment looks like, you guys. Love you guys.